Okay, my friends, so what crazy thing we're doing today? We're doing this choco flan. Choco flan, the impossible cake, they call it, because it separates in the in the cooking process. So it's going to be two, two uh, uh, cakes in one. So on the left side, you have the flan. On the right side, you have the ingredients for the cake. So for the flan, we need one can of evaporated milk, one can of condensed milk, milk sweetened one bar of um, cream cheese and a teaspoon of van vanilla and also we're going to use five large eggs these are the ingredients for the flan so this is for the flan so now for the chocolate cake we're going to use one of these pre boxes that you can get in any supermarket or, or grocery store uh, so the ingredients are uh, butter water and three eggs but you basically going to be following the process laid on the back of the box here you got it water butter and three eggs and you just follow the instructions and this is going to be really really good so the, here are the ingredients for the chocolate cake side of uh, of the recipe so the first thing is we're going to make our caramel so half a cup of sugar and a, tea, a tablespoon of water and we're going to boil this a little bit over medium heat until we get caramel out of this so we're looking for a consistent brown light brown color without burning it you have to be on top of this you have to be moving this around all the time non-stop until you get to the color do not look away because this is gonna burn pretty fast so you keep moving it might take about anywhere from two to five six minutes until you get to this color this is the color that I'm looking for this is the caramel color and it's all liquid you see how it how it moves around freely and now we're gonna take this and put it on the bottom of our our container here I'm using a glass container here I'm gonna just make sure that I spread that out before it cools down because this will get hard really 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 hard really uh, fast so you spread that on the bottom of your container and this is gonna be a hard like a hard candy thing but then when you cook when you cook it, it's gonna go back to liquid so five eggs go into the blender five large eggs a can of evaporated milk about 14 ounces and a can of condensed sweet condensed milk and this you might need a, a teaspoon to get it out there and a teaspoon of vanilla you see the condensed milk still there and we're gonna put the bar of cream cheese any brand that you like and we're gonna blend this for about a minute and a minute and a half not more than that a minute a minute and a half depending on your blender you just got to make sure that all the ingredients are well mixed together, but do not over mix this. Do not let it go for five minutes. It only should take about a minute, a minute and a half. So this is the flan and we're going to just put it aside. We're going to go now for the chocolate cake. So we put here our flour here that comes with the flavor of chocolate and sugars and everything. We add the butter. I kind of warm up the water a little bit to make it easier for the blending and we're gonna put the three large eggs in there as well and a cup and a quarter of just water so we, these are all the ingredients as per the instructions on the back of the of the package so we're gonna mix this you can use a hand blender you can use your your other uh, blenders that you have uh, but do not use an oxidizer so something like this so you go slowly and you just want to make sure that everything is well incorporated into our batter here and here we have the caramel on the bottom of the container and what we're going to do is we're going to pour the flan halfway through this container so we're going to put this flan mixture here until we get kind of onto half because remember this is a half and half cake they call it the impossible cake it's a choco flan cake so we're going to go until we actually are kind of uh, halfway there so you see if I move the camera here I'm actually there halfway to the top so now we're gonna <clears throat> put the butter in there and it doesn't matter if you put the, the chocolate butter first and the flan butter this is why they call it an impossible cake you see how I'm mixing these things together here so during the process the process of cooking this is gonna actually separate and you'll see the final product is pretty impressive because if you look at this you see the chocolate on top of the flan it's all there it actually looks ugly there but it's gonna look good at the end so you're gonna wanna leave, uh, leave that little lip there don't go all the way to the top because this is gonna raise a little bit and you can, you can spill it all over so you'll just leave, leave that lip there 
and then this is ready for the oven. We're gonna put it in a in another into another container with water, so this is gonna prevent the cake from burning in the bottom. So this is gonna be cooking inside that water, and that's gonna protect against burning. So I'm gonna put about four four cups of hot water in there and then i'm gonna go into the oven we're gonna cover this with aluminum pretty tight so it doesn't spill over cover it with aluminum and we're gonna bake this for about an hour an hour and 15 at 350 degrees fahrenheit 350 fahrenheit for an hour and an hour and 15 minutes that's you just stick a little toothpick in the middle and make sure that it comes out clean and that means that it's cooked so depending on your oven it could be from an hour to an hour and 15. So I'm gonna use my machete here to level this because this is a little dome on top. On top, so I'm gonna use my machete here. I'm gonna cut everything that goes above my container here. You see, this is actually above, and then I also is gonna look a lot cleaner in the bottom. And there you have it. So I kind of clean it, and now what we're gonna do. We're gonna flip this upside down. So we, you, gonna use another knife, and we're gonna go around making the pressure against the walls of the container, not against the cake. You don't want to damage the cake. You go against the edge of the walls of that container just to make sure there's nothing stick to get uh, to the container. And now this is ready to be flipped over. So using a bigger plate, you're just going to turn this upside down really quick. Be careful, real quick like that. We're going to turn upside down. There you have it. And look at that beautiful color from the caramel on top of the flan. This is a typical colors of the of a flan. Look how beautiful these things, those colors. And I'm gonna put the camera now on the side so you can see the separation. This is why they call it the impossible cake. Look at that. It separated itself during the cooking process. And now you have the flan on top and the super moist, super moist chocolate cake at the bottom. There you have it. Choco Flan. Remember to like, subscribe, and help me get more subscribers. So like, subscribe, and share it with your friends and family. You liked it, so click like and subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.